proud of, proud, and we're nervous too, yeah. And who wouldn't be when their life's work is on show for the first time? My sister. She's finished, yeah. so this is her work. Her work is still there. Yeah. Her work will stay here on and on. It's She's gone, gone yeah. but the work is still here. But we're proud of this yeah. stuff here. Yeah. In yeah. Try show me, I want to see my work, because I'm <laughs> proud of myself. <laughs> I'm seeing my... Helen, okay, her see sister you. Leslie, okay. their older sister Lucy, and their teacher Nancy are all master weavers from Gapuyak in the Northern Territory. I'm standing here with a clever hand. Yeah, yeah, and now we're all standing here. Yeah. They've travelled thousands of kilometres here to Wagga Wagga in New South Wales to be at their first exhibition. I'm happy because I've seen my works here, this one. Helen learned to weave in Gapuyak, a remote community on the shores of Lake Evola in East Arnhem Land. They've just built a new culture and arts centre a community initiative that's designed to showcase their traditional fibre and artwork. And I, I thought we need to come up with some sort of a, a body or organisation that a function with indigenous person in Yolmo. So art suddenly so became the first party in Gapel because we have a lot of people doing arts in Gapel. A couple of months ago it was just empty, now it's full. And lots of different things too, yeah. like the lamb shapes. It's, your, your... it's really good. We are trying to develop this building into a learning learning centre where it's going to create cross-culture training for both um, indigenous and non-indigenous people. Uh, the primary aim of the Culture and Arts Centre is to preserve the culture here in Gapawiak, help the people to have an archive here, a space where people know they can safely put their memories here, their work here, and we'll keep it as safe as possible. And it's exactly what Dr. Louisa Hamby has done. And there's another uh, string bag too. Where? Here in Wagga Wagga was work she has collected over 15 years. And have you found all of your things? Yeah, over your, there. Your handbag, mat. The big mat. The big yeah, mat, yeah. yeah. That first big one. Mat, it feels good to see my work. I'm proud, keeping my culture. I learned from my mother. I saw her when I was only a little girl, and we have to teach our children, and so it goes on and on. And maintaining these traditions and motivating the artists is a key role of the new arts centre in Gapuya. There was a lot of talk, even a little bit from Lucy, saying she feels worn out, and you know her fingers getting sore and her eyes getting weak, and she's not sure if she can do much more weaving, and then. Suddenly in Wagga, the whole conversation changed. Oh. To, oh, when I come back, I'm going to do baby basket. I'm going to start this, doing this and this. And it was the same with Helen and Leslie and Nancy. Buzzing with inspiration, the women packed up the troopie and immediately went bush. I was so proud of it and I thought of that. When I go back home, I'll do more, like dice and get bananas going to their special place in a secret location to collect materials for new baskets, this time for their own gallery. I saw my mother. I went with her carrying same bags like this. And I saw her. She was pulling, uh, getting the bandages. And then I learned from her so I'm teaching my sister then. something you ought to know about our own culture. And so it seems is everybody else. Especially the visitors to the Wagga Wagga exhibition. How long does it take? Maybe a month. A month? Yeah. Now do you sell these? Yes. Only maybe two hundred dollars. Oh no. A fiscal reality that's sure to change following exposure like this. The fact is that lots of the stuff's really undervalued. A, it's not known, people don't know the background to it, the cultural context, how much work goes into making, then you've got to collect the material, you've got to you know, prepare it, then you've got to you know, sort of boil, dye, you know, collect dyes, boil it. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. But it's a labour of love that's keeping traditions alive. The colours of the local dyes are a Gapuyak signature. 
but finding them can be backbreaking work. Orange. It goes into yellow. Doesn't matter, it is an orange colour. She used to work with only natural colour, white. Now she's doing it with the colour. A lingon. We are using our own dyes that we get from the plant. Young people are not involved. Nowadays they're learning more well underway. And this is our chance to teach them more. Otherwise, they might grow up without culture. Something Lucy and the other artists are passing on through their art. And what's another way you can do with this one? Another one. And when she wasn't demonstrating how to use the baskets, she and the women had their audience mesmerised with their clever hands. I was amazed at this exhibition. To be quite frank, gobsmacked by how beautiful it is. Uh, I, I think this will become the next equivalent of dot painting. A reaction that made the girls jump for joy and want to tell everyone. Good, great to have you here. Hello. <laughs> My husband and I was just talking and he's so proud of me. He's proud of you? Yes, because my work is here. They saw their stuff there and went like, wow, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do even better. <laughs> it's our role too to show Gapuwiak that out there people love the stuff. And even in the community, visitors are popping in for a bargain. We are working here. And these are the smartest ladies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. 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 And I love the pandemics. Tonight when we show the pictures, I hope that there are going to be enough young people there to see what, what it actually does. Just like the Wagga Wagga premiere, this opening night drew a full house. I'm proud of all my work, all this work here from the eldest, from grandmother, mom and sister. They all gone now. We can see them, but we see the work. And we're proud. We came all the way from Arnhem Land. Thank you very much for every person to come all the way from, from everywhere. <laughs> Clever hands are doing. Yo, yo.